fire or cold or acid, she has those suits of half plate also, oh, no. but not on display. That's all right. I just want the, the one that, that the, the first circle? The circle is fine. Um, and you said that was 750 gold pieces. Yeah. So I'm going to give that to you. Now, I'm going to pay 600 of it in gold and I'll give you the other 150 in platinum. Okay. Give me a persuasion roll while you're doing this. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look. I'm not particularly persuasive. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Be like Curlia uh, later on tonight. There's going to be a suit of plus one half plate drop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there would be, just be a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be able to see any of the stuff we're buying. All right. So she'll take your 750 if you're going to pay 600 of gold and any other 150 and whatever. Platinum. Ooh. That's right. Very nice. Yes, a rare so coin good. indeed. You must be an adventurer. Um, I have a few Groupons, and I pull out my robe of useful <laughs> items. Like, uh, oh, do you? Yeah. Do oh, you wow. I have any studded leather that... Uh... I do, but your Groupon has expired, unfortunately. <laughs> See, it expired five years ago. <laughs> 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 do you, what about a, uh, perhaps a crossbow bolt plus one? And I hold <laughs> Uh, I, I I always I always whole, like to barter. Sure, I, a whole maybe. one crossbow bolt, not a quiver of bolts, but oh, just a bolt. Because you know this one's special. It's mm. signed uh, mm. by um, <laughs> the most famous person. Elminster, you know, which you know who that Drusa is. Drusa Duerden, Elminster, maybe. Yes, or maybe it is by Elminster. I gotta turn around. Real quick. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> May I take a look at that, please? And uh, do you have a certificate of authenticity? Because there are a lot of fake Elminster autographs that are you know going around town. This, one. this one's near and dear to my heart. I'll, I'll hold uh, on to this one. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the horses that he was trying to sell in Bryn Shander. <laughs> Got love <laughs> killed on trying to do this. It's so uh, good. So is anybody else looking at anything? Uh, how about you, uh... Mr. Ascot down there, you're dressed fairly well. Are you looking for something, <laughs> Mr. Ascot? Oh, well, I'm not at this point. I I need my money. Oh, <laughs> that's what all the nobles say. Hmm. She sticks her nose <laughs> up at you. What about you, sir? Looking at you, Gildan. Anything else you need? Yeah, I mean, I will if you happen to have any shields or any um, studded I do have a couple of shields. <laughs> I do have a couple of shields, matter of fact, and she points over to this rack that is, there's a bunch of shields just kind of layered, and it looks like a bookshelf, but it's a shield shelf. And, yeah, she has uh, about a dozen different shields. What what, what are you wanting, wanting it to do? do uh, I have... Uh, some that will grant you a little bit more protection. I also have some that attract arrows. I have one that actually attracts arrows. Uh, let's see, what else? I try to I not have? attract arrows whenever possible. So maybe just the straight <laughs> ones would be good. I have a shield. When they, whoever's shooting the arrows, mm -hmm. sometimes they punch through those shields. So I'd, I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. Well, that's up to you. And then I also have a, I have a shield that uh, gives you the jump. Uh, on enemies too, makes your reaction a little bit quicker. But that is actually a pretty. That's pretty rare. That's a pretty rare shield. So, yeah. but maybe it just is a straight. It is called the sentinel shield. Protection. If you have sure. a nice mirror finish on the inside, so you know you could hold it up and you know chop I, off the head of a Medusa, whatever. I do. I have the, I have this shield, and she pulls it out, and it has a giant picture of an apple on the front of it. And she says, "This is, this is a great shield." And and she turns it around, and there's a little pouch on the inside of the shield. And she says, "Once a day, this is really cool. Watch this. Once a day, you can put your hand in it." And then her hand just is totally gone. No, I'm just kidding. She pulls out her hand, and there's an apple in her hand. And she says, "If you eat this apple, you'll rejuvenate some of your life if you've been hurt in any kind of combat." So basically, it's it's a shield that if you pull the apple out of it, you'll get like a healing potion, just a regular potion of healing worth of healing once a day by pulling the apple out. She says, that's a, that's a 
not a fairly common shield. Uh, I've been in business here for about 200 years, and I've only seen a couple of these come through. But I'll take, for the shield, if you want one with protection, then it would be about, it would be about, uh, I'd say about, shields are really common. So we'll say about 600 gold. Or if you're wanting my one of my favorite items, the apple shield, I would take about 850 for it. Hmm. Okay. Does it pro but provide it, any it, protection, any extra protection as well, or is it a uh, unfortunately it not? The apple? Okay. It is just the apple. Okay. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure that I could travel with this bunch with the apple shield though without having a pretty <laughs> steady stream of <laughs> comments coming. So uh, I might have to just go with the standard shield. Well, they would just be jealous because they don't get an apple a day. Is yeah, it? that keeps the doctor away. <laughs> is it an eye shield? Is that how they refer to it? Or <laughs> an eye shield? I I don't get it. What is it like? Uh, forged by. Um, Oh, uh, the, you know, the magical... Company, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're the same company Steve that Jobs, printed the... the dwarven yeah. uh, smith. I think that's where you got your Groupon from. It looks yeah. like it was made by this <laughs> Apple company. They change their coupons so often that they expire all the time, and well, it's really, yeah. really rare to find a coupon that's in date. I think they, they make cup new coupons every six months or so. This Apple company. <sighs> yeah. <Nice. laughs> Talking about their, their stupid phones that come out every six months. Same thing, but with like one more feature for a $1,000, whatever it is for an iPhone. $1,000. Yeah, yeah if, if you want standard. the... I'll take okay, a standard shield. It's fine. 600. All right, now give me a, give me a uh, persuasion check as well. Okie doke. Dun, dun, dun. Persuasion in the tower. Uh, you could just do it in chat. Let's go. It's okay. Let's see if it works. Or not. Oh, look at that! <laughs> nice, nice roll. Yeah, she says thank you for uh, thank you for your your contribution. <laughs> six hundred, you said. <clears throat> yeah, six hundred. Yeah, or eight hundred for the apple shield. So, but yeah, it'll it'll be plus plus one more AC, so a total of three. Okay. Cool. <laughs> My friends are going to make fun of me with this apple shield. <laughs> well, you don't <laughs> accompany yourself with very good friends now, do you? <laughs> that is true. That is true. They just kind of showed up. I can't really, you know, whatever. Uh, is there anything else you need? Where is that? No, I think that'll do it. That's good for me. Yep. Hello, All Kaboom right. Man's dad. That must be one of my son's friends. Gako. He says hi, Kaboom. My uh, my son's name is Kaboom Man. All his friends that he plays games with. Uh oh, there's another one. Hi, Kaboom Man's dad. Hi guys, it's Kaboom apple Man's dad shield. here. Yeah, apple pie shield might have <clears throat> might have sold that one. Yeah. All right, so you guys want to take care of anything? Else, take care of anything else here with a Neverwinter, or do you guys want to head east to Helm's Hold? All right. I think we're ready. I'm right, told. That's nice. A uh, nice bargain on the uh, on the gear, guys. All right, we'll head over to Helm's Hold. Very short travel. Uh, the stable master, while you're there and you teleported in, uh, the teleportation master, the the dwarf there, Zasper. He's going to take care of the griffins, make sure they're fed, and plus the riders are there as well, so they'll be a they'll be stabled for you for when you get back. So in the meantime, they're going to let you use some horses to get to Home Sold, and it's just a very short travel of, of several hours. Now, by this point, as you guys are starting to come into view of Home Sold, the sun is now starting to go down over the horizon. And there is one thing that you can actually see. You can see a, a massive cathedral spire that is basically dominating the skyline and you can see all of the stained glass and the lights coming through it and whatnot now as you and and of course you're with gunga as well and you know gunga tells you that just stick with him and you should be okay 
because the the Order of the Gauntlet, this special sect, you know, they are uh, they're called the Gilded Eye, and the Gilded Eye really doesn't like they don't like strangers in here. No matter if they're from an organization or what, they just don't like strangers. So. As you're starting to come into the walls of Helmhold, you know, a couple of guards hail you. Gunga knows the guards, and you guys pass straight through. Now, there's all kinds of wooden and stone buildings all throughout this place. And, you know, there's a huge sign that says, The Old Dirty Dwarf. And it says, In, Eats, and Drink. So there's the Old Dirty Dwarf. And, but as you're looking at the other buildings and whatnot, you see, you know, another stable smith you see a blacksmith you see uh, a lion shield coster here boy they're they're all they've been franchised out all over the place lion shield coster <laughs> so you notice one thing that is absolutely crazy the market square in the middle of helm's hold is quite active but it's not active as in people like you it seems like there's a bunch of ghosts and spirits that are walking along trying to, you know, purchase goods. It looks like every normal, you know, everyday people, but they're ghosts. You know, you see humans, you see elves, you see gnomes and halflings, even a couple tieflings and dragonborn walking around, all in spirit. And it looks like they're making transactions in the marketplace. You know, you can see one little boy going up to an apple stand and getting an apple from a fruit stand. You know, you see another uh, human going up and looking at a, a blade, kind of turning it over and, 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 you know, inspecting the quality of it. And in the middle of the square, there is a, a hangman's scaffold, you know, that is on a raised platform. Nothing in it, of course. But it's just kind of creepy because there's like a very light fog or mist that's coming up from the ground as well. But like I said, dominating that skyline is the cathedral. And, you know, it's the cathedral of Helm is what uh, Gunga tells you. And inside of this cathedral, you know, as you guys are kind of walking towards it, you know, there's all kinds of these ghost children that are playing in the streets. And, you know, all of a sudden a, a ghost appears in the scaffold in the hangman's noose on, you know, on the scaffold on the platform. And, and then all of a sudden a bunch of ghosts kind of gather around the, the scaffold and the platform. So it's actually kind of creepy. None of the ghosts are aggressive or anything. It's just a bunch of spirits that you're able to, you know, look at as you're in there. And, you know, you can hear a lot of the ghosts are speaking a bunch of gibberish, a bunch of nonsense. You really can't understand anything that they're saying. So, Gunga... Gunga, what is this about? Yeah. Yeah, he, he starts to take you to the cathedral. And he says that the, the priest in charge is Holy Watcher uh, Queria. And she could probably have a little bit more information on where this... Uh, vigilante that you're looking for is probably kept he's probably he says oh he's he's probably kept in the catacombs of the cathedral because that's that's usually where all of the members of the gilded eye uh, are located and as you get you know as you start to go into the temple you can see that the the, the cathedral is actually quite quite busy i mean there's all kinds of, of different uh, guards. It looks like there's would be a couple. You would notice a couple of these assassins uh, gilded as being part of the uh, the Zentrum. All kinds of acolytes. You know, there's some noble knights. It looks like some other unsavory felt probably some spies and several nobles. And the gilded eye they take care of basically any anyone that has any kind of demonic influence in their life. You know, remember the cult of the, the dragon from last year, uh, how they were trying to summon Tiamat. Oh, they were all brought here, and they all faced retribution for, you know, defying the gods and worshiping Tiamat and, and having this cult. You know, a lot of the other uh, earthen cults and the fire cults, they were brought here and executed. So basically all of the the, the vigilantes that have demonic fluence are brought here and these 
these gilded eye are basically like a they're like inquisitors and they travel the lands bring these guys back and injustice is served on them so Gunga uh, towards the the front of the temple introduces you to a, a, a human and her name is uh, Holy Watcher Quiria and she greets you and and uh, she tells you right off the bat she says make sure you stay with Gunga because the Gilded Eye does not like strangers in our town. It's not really us per se, but it is the other watchers of Helm's Hold. So just make sure with your with Gunga and keep keep a keep your good behavior to the highest standard because we don't want you to end up in the catacombs down below. And you know, <laughs> Gunga he he really he's like, well, nice to see you too, Quiria. So he asks about. Gunga asks about this uh, weevil, and she tells you that the weevil is kept in the catacombs down below, somewhere down there, if the Minotaur haven't got him yet, or any of our sentient beings, like the cubes or the oozes down there. There's a lot of evil, but I'm sure we could probably scrape him up somewhere if he hasn't been killed yet. So what are you needing can we, this weevil Can we take for? him with us? We want to take him back to uh, to answer for his crimes. And what is this in pertaining to? And, and, and who are you, sir? Uh, hello, I will introduce myself. I, my name is Gildan. I am uh, a friend and ally of, of Gunga, Gungan here. And um, we were sent by uh, Sir... Barrick. Barrick? Sir Barrick. Yep. Ah, Sir Barrick, yes. Uh, we have to retrieve the weevil and to bring him back. Mm-hmm. Well, that is out of my jurisdiction, but I do know that uh, our leader, our faithful leader, Zara Dalker, she would have the power to release this weevil. But I will warn you, she is very stern with her judgment, and he has already been sentenced to the catacomb. So if you're wanting to take him, there better be a good reason why you need to take him. So I will go and fetch her. She is in her, she is in her study. So she, uh, she goes off for a couple of minutes and (laughs) Gunga turns towards you guys and he says, well, uh, you'll just have to take Quiria's attitude with a grain of salt. That's just how, that's just how all of these gilded eyes act around here. All around you, there's all kinds of spies and thieves and assassins and knights. So I will tell you this. The gilded eye is part of the Order of the Gauntlet, but they are a splintered faction, and there is a lot of resistance between the gilded eye and the Order of the Gauntlet. But we may be able to work something out. So Gungan, what what's with all of these spirits that are like visible and moving around and so forth? Supposedly, as the as the legend says, these are all of the spirits that have died in the catacombs, and they've been cleansed and purified, and now they're living a gleeful life, the proper, the pure life here in Helm's Hold, but they only arise when the sun goes down. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if nothing else, we just if we need to talk to the weevil, can you talk to the spirits at all? Uh, or are they not? No, you can't. T- you could hear them, but they were speaking in like this gibber jabberish, and you really couldn't, really couldn't. It was all muted and muffled, and all these weird sounds. So yeah, you couldn't understand them. Now, as for uh, the leader of the Gilded Eye, she's a leader of of Helm's Hold. Her name is a. Uh, Zara Dalkor, and she greets you, and she says, so, uh, Query has informed me that you are wanting this weevil that I have down in my catacombs below the temple. Is that correct? That is correct. And what do you want this weevil for? What has he done, and what is what do you need him for? I mean, is it, uh, is it for judgment? Is it for a mission? Is it for some type of information? Because I usually just don't let people waltz right into my helm's hold and demand one of my fugitives. Well, we're not demanding. We're, we're merely requesting, um, as a favor to Sir Beric, 
to retrieve and bring him with us under guard. So that's why the the five of us have all been sent. So we would bring him under guard to meet with Sir Beric. And Sir Beric didn't disclose the full details of what he had intended with the Weevil, whether it is judgment for his crimes. We do know that he had committed some crimes under Sir Beric's jurisdiction, though. So, um, so with, it's Order of the Gauntlet related, like. pretty much. It is. It is, yes. Mm, I see. Yes, and we are... Uh, we are uh, deputies of Ten Towns, and I'll show her whatever they gave us to prove that we're deputies. Mm, you're far away from Ten Towns. It looks like you're out of your jurisdiction here. But I'll tell you what, I will let you guys do a, uh, a persuasion roll versus, uh, well, with old Zara here. So if whoever wants to, whoever has, whoever also wants to add anything to this, and anyone that has I'll a great a, persuasion, uh, holy I'll cow. throw it in. <laughs> right. Well, you, you know, maybe <laughs> let's introduce you to Atticus here. <laughs> wow, that was a uh... convince you about some of the things that we've heard that he's done and why he needs to be brought to justice. So, what has he been charged with by by Sir by Sir Beric? What has he been charged uh, he with? Very... <laughs> simple, <laughs> remember simple cow tipping or <laughs> ooh. Yeah. This could be worth an inspiration if anybody remembers. I'll he give you guys stealing, a couple seconds. Uh, food items. Ah, uh, very we good. We've not understood the reasoning on why he had stolen mm. items in the first place or why he needed to steal so much. So uh, that could be part of the reason why Sir Beric would like to question him. Seems like simple charges to me if you are you know, ransacking food caravans or... I knew what he was wanting. I, I just wanted to see if you were frauds or traitors, but you're in the company of, uh, company ends of uh, Gunga. But yes, yeah, so I do have him. Who owes and me I'll, a life debt, too, by the way. Who, Gunga does? And, and, <laughs> yes. and what does he owe you a life debt for? He just, she well, just kind of looks over towards Gunga. Gunga. Yeah, and then he just kind of looks the, at you, and he just kind of shakes his head. Frost giant twice, and uh, yeah, Ooh. so we, we well. Speaking uh, of frost giants, it. we've had some problems here around the Helmshold area, and we're equipped to deal with cultists. We're equipped to deal with fanatics. We're not equipped to deal with giants. So I'll tell we you are. what. I yeah, that's that's a good thing, because I will give you this weevil. If you find out where this gathering of frost giants are coming from, we've been not Helm's Hold per se, but several of the the farmsteads and the other small villages around the area have been attacked by frost giants, which is which is really unusual because usually we only deal with hill giants, but now the frost giants have come down and they've been ransacking everything. So I'll tell you what: if you can find out where these frost giants are coming from and get the information back to me, legitimate information, I will grant you your request and I will give you this weevil to take back to Sir Beric. Seems reasonable. What else can you tell us about these frost giants? Like where should we begin searching or looking? There is a small village that was attacked earlier today a couple of my scouts had let me know. Uh, to the north, uh, it basically it is just due east of Neverwinter. It was just a single giant. The villagers did what they could. They had a small. We've been sending some of our some of our Templars out, some of our Inquisitors out to try to take care of these giant attacks. But unfortunately, the small contingency that I sent to this village was destroyed, and. My scouts got word back to me, and that was middle afternoon. That was several hours ago. So maybe you could go to the small village and track this giant down because it has since then stolen all of the – it has stolen a lot of the, the livestock, the sheep, the goats, the chickens. And my scouts told me that this giant just picked these things up and put them right in the bag, slung it over his shoulder, and just started walking away after he killed my it's inquisitors. Are you giant? It was a frost giant, absolutely. Hmm. Yes. Yes, it was a frost are there giant. Any, are there any obelisks in any of the villages near here that might have any sort of unknown uh, iconography on it? 
and not that I know of. I don't. I don't know any of these obelisks. What uh, I don't even know what you mean by you mean a, like a stone statue or something like that. I, yeah. Well, a nightstone, and again, uh, over by um, Bryn Shander, there were at least two villages that were attacked that had these obelisks, and the giants were hmm. attempting to uh, retrieve or steal these obelisks. I know of no obelisk in this area. But I will give you this weevil, though. Okay. Well, I think if we can get directions to this town, uh, we should be able to track from there um, a giant's passing sure. with relative ease, yeah, especially if he's heavily laden with livestock. It's <laughs> He threw it right in his bag, right over his shoulders. Yeah, the, the small town, it's just a small village. It's on the high road. It's, you know, you just go due north. You'll see it probably still ablaze. And then you could probably do your tracking from there. But if, like I said, if you can find out where the, the gathering of these frost giants are, because I don't think there's just one. I think there's probably several of them. And if you can get me that information, then I can contact other authorities. I can maybe bring in some more help from Waterdeep, and then we can take care of these, these frost giants. Get them out of our area. Certainly. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Do you want to wait till morning or do you want to go now? It's up to you. Uh, what time of day is it? Oh, it's night. It's night. Right? Yeah, the, the sun has just gone down maybe maybe about an hour or two hours ago. Yeah, probably wait till morning, opposed. I'd say. Do you want you to sleep in this town with all the ghosts and spirits? It's a little <laughs> bit unnerving. Uh, it's with a little weird, sleeping. yeah. Maybe camp outside of the town. We'll get a head Zara. start on it. Maybe tonight. Sure. Yeah. Well, if, if you want to stay out of town, that's, that's your prerogative, but... If you would like to stay here, uh, you can stay at the old dirty dwarf, and I'll I'll take care of your room and board for the night. <laughs> the old dirty dwarf is something we funny, sir. We already have our own dirty dwarf. We have two. <laughs> actually. I, I like the old dirty dwarf. I'm in. Um, I'm not old. <laughs> Not in dwarven terms. <laughs> call me old dirty dwarf, but just don't call me old. Well, call me dirty dwarf, but don't call me old. That's right, Greek. Uh, yes, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not leaving town. I want to go to the dwarf and uh, uh, get a beer. It's right. Okay, sure. You can go to the old dirty dwarf. Absolutely. Uh, through. All right. So, Zara says, me. your criminal, your fugitive, will be waiting for you when you come back. Good luck. Sounds like a deal. All right. Okay. So, you guys head over to the old dirty dwarf, get a room, you get a meal, nice hot meal. Rabbit stew for dinner. Anything else that you guys want? That so, a roasted centaur. <laughs> they no. That that's the Saturday that's special. Oh, wait, that's weird. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the Saturday <laughs> special. Right crazy. now they have Minotaur balls from the catacombs. But <laughs> that's very specific. Little, yeah, brulee on top. <laughs> oh my god! Dinner, movies, drink, <laughs> movies. <laughs> She's not a cheap date. Anything else in the uh, anything else in the tavern as you guys are here? Or are you guys just gonna go to the next morning, get some R and R, get a full rest, get all your spell slots, all your life? You had all that back anyway. But are they playing the Sixth Sense tonight? <laughs> no, tonight <laughs> the they're playing. On, right? They're it's playing the, the yeah. Tonight. They're playing the D and D movie Book of Vile Darkness. They're showing that right now in the Delmonico room. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a strip club? The champagne room for dwarves? They, no, no they, they, there is definitely not. A, there is, there. You cannot have those accommodations filled. Not in Helm's Hold. <laughs> the Inquisitors don't permit that kind of stuff. Well, not in public, at least. But, but you know how those do. Inquisitors are. Yeah, the priests but do. They do oh, that was my... <laughs> like, why are yeah, they just... repressed? They just send him to another hold. That's all they do. <laughs> Once they find out. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> all right, so the next morning comes. You guys make the journey to the small little village on the high road. Absolutely obliterated. You know, there's women crying about their houses destroyed. And, you know, there's... Several dead bodies with a like a linen sack strewn over them, covering them up. A couple children were killed in the attack. 
there's a a main kind of farm that kind of dominates the fence, and there's a couple dead chickens and a and a dead horse, but it looks like everything was was taken. And as you guys are coming into the